Overview of the Indian Succession Act, 1925 CA Hetal Gada. 8. Background India with its huge population is country with people coming from various communities. It predominantly has two major class of communities being the Hindus and the Muslims. There are various other communities, to name a few being Christians, Jewish, Parsis, etc. Before the enactment of the Indian Succession Act, 1925, I see the Hindus and the Muslims were governed by their respective personal laws for the purpose of inheritance and succession. However, there were a lot of uncertainties in respect of inheritance and succession in case of other religions. Various different laws were enacted to cater to the needs of the different sects and different situations. To fill in the gaps under various acts, Indian Succession Act was executed in 1865. However, the said act did not serve its purpose and was completed repealed. There were a variety of acts like the Succession, Property Protection Act, the Parsi Interstate Succession Act, the Hindu Wills Act, the Probate and Administration Act, etc., which address to different scenarios of inheritance and succession. With the multiple laws to look into while dealing with the inheritance and succession issues, a need was felt to bring in uniformity. Accordingly, all of these acts were consolidated under one act, the Indian Succession Act, 1925, as we see it today. The very meaning of the word succession means inheritance of the property, movable and immovable, the rights and the obligations of a person after his death. Succession can be of two types. A. Interstate succession i.e. Succession by operation of law. B. Testamentary succession i.e. Succession by way of will. The Hindus in case of interstate succession are governed by Hindu Succession Act. 1956, and in case of testamentary succession, are governed by Indian Succession Act, 1925. The Muslims in case of both interstate or testamentary succession are governed by the Muslim law. The other communities are governed by the Indian Succession Act, 1925 both for interstate and testamentary succession. B. Domicile Ah, the dictionary meaning of the word domicile means the country that a person treats as their permanent home or lives in and has a substantial connection with. Domicile of a person becomes relevant to decide which country's succession law applies to the property of the deceased. The provisions of the domicile under IC are as follows. Applicability As per the IC, the domicile of the deceased person at the time of his death shall be relevant to decide as to which country's succession law shall apply to the property of the deceased person. The said provision of domicile shall not apply to Hindu, Muhammadan, Buddhist, Sikhs and Jains. Exception to the domicile rule Succession of immovable property If a deceased person owned an immovable property in India, the provisions of IC shall apply irrespective of the domicile of the deceased person at the time of his death. Succession of movable property Succession in case of movable property shall be governed by the country in which the deceased person was domiciled at the time of his her death. Domicile of origin A domicile of origin of every legitimate birth shall be the country in which his her father was domiciled at the time of his her birth or if a child is born after his father's death, then the domicile of the father at the time of his death. A domicile of origin of every illegitimate birth shall be the country in which his her mother was domiciled at the time of his her birth. A domicile of origin shall continue till the time a new domicile is acquired. Acquisition of new domicile A person can acquire a new domicile other than a domicile of his her origin if he she changes his her fixed habitation permanent home. If a person wants to acquire his domicile in India, he she has to give a declaration to the concerned authorities in writing of his her desire to acquire such domicile and he she further has to satisfy that he she was a resident in India for at least one immediate year preceding the date of his her declaration. However, a person residing in India for the purpose of their profession service shall not be said to be domiciled in India. E.g., 
persons of another country working in the embassy consulate as a representative along with the family members and servant shall not be said to be domiciled in India. Minors domicile Minors domicile shall be the domicile of origin and shall not change with that of his parents. Domicile of woman on marriage a woman on marriage shall acquire the domicile of her husband. Even during her marriage, her domicile follows her husband's domicile. Exception, if the wife is legally separated then, her domicile does not follow that of her husband. In the absence of proof of domicile If there is no proof of the domicile of a deceased person at the time of his death, then the succession of his her movable property in India shall be regulated by succession laws of India. See consanguinity. Consanguinity is the relation with a person descended from the common ancestors. Kindred is the term used alternatively to consanguinity. Applicability the said consanguinity does not apply to. A. Will made or interstate occurring before 1st January, 1866. B. Interstate or will made by Hindu, Muhammadan, Buddhist, Sikhs and Jains. Lineal consanguinity Lineal consanguinity is A. One person who has descended in direct line from the common ancestor i.e. A man and his father, grandfather, great-grandfather and so on upwards. B. One person who has ascended in direct line from the common ancestor i.e. A man and his son grandson, great-grandson and so on downwards. Every generation ascending or descending is a degree. So a father and a son to a man are first degree kindred. Likewise a grandfather and grandson to a man are second degree kindred and so on. Collateral consanguinity Collateral consanguinity is a person connected to descending or ascending individuals from a common ancestor but not connected from a direct line. For egg, a person's father's brother's son i.e. His her cousin is a collateral consanguinity as the person and his her cousin are connected not by a direct line of descendant or ascendant, however the person's father and the cousin's father have descended from a common ancestor i.e. Their grandfather. No distinction between certain relations no distinction has been made between the following persons under the IC provisions. A. Between persons related through father and persons related through mother. B. Between persons related through full blood and half blood, one parent in common. C. Between persons born in the lifetime of diseased person or conceived in the womb at the time of his death, exception being persons born subsequently. D. Interstate succession, for Indian Christians. Indian Christians as defined under the IC means a native of India who is, or in good faith claims to be, of unmixed Asiatic descent and who professes any form of the Christian religion. The rules of distribution for succession of property of the Indian Christians who die interstate are as follows. Heirs A. Wife or husband B. Lineal descendants C. Kindred Distribution to be in the order given above. Distribution where the diseased is survived by a widow and lineal descendants. A. 1-3 RD share to the widow. B. 2-3 RD share to the lineal descendants. 2-3 RD share of the lineal descendants shall be divided among them equally. Distribution where the diseased is survived by a widow and kindred but there are no lineal descendants. A. A half to the widow. B. A half to the kindred. The distribution among the kindreds would be as under. I. Surviving kindred in the nearest degree shall be entitled to the a half share. All the kindreds in the same degree shall have equal share. 2. If the kindred in the nearest degree is dead and is survived by his her children or grandchildren, they shall be take their parents' share which their parents would have been entitled to if they were alive. 3. If the kindred in the nearest degree is dead and is not survived by any child or grandchild, then the kindreds of the next degree would be entitled to the above share. 4. The order of the kindred shall be as follows. a. Father of the diseased b. Mother and brothers and sisters of the diseased 
See kindreds in the nearest degrees. Distribution where the diseased is survived by a widow but there are no lineal descendants nor any kindred the whole of the property shall belong to the widow. Distribution where the diseased is survived by neither a widow nor any lineal descendants nor any kindred in a situation where a person dies in distate and is not survived by widow, lineal descendants, kindreds then his estate shall revert to the state. E. Interstate succession for passes. The rules of distribution for succession of property of the passes who die interstate are as follows. General Rules A. If a child predeceases a Parsi interstate then his share shall not be taken into consideration if he does not leave behind. I. A widow or widower no. 2. Any lineal descendant no. 3. Any widow or widower of lineal descendant. B. A widow or widower of any relative of a diseased person who has remarried in the lifetime of the diseased person shall not be entitled to a share of the diseased person who has died in distate. Distribution where the diseased is survived by a widow or widower and children the widow or the widower and the children shall receive equal share. Distribution where the diseased is survived by children and not a widow or widower each child shall receive equal share. Distribution where the diseased is survived by parents, widow or widower and children widow or widower and children shall get equal share and each of the parents shall get half the share of each child. Predeceased son of the interstate having lineal descendants widow and children of the predeceased son shall take share as if the son had died immediately after interstate's death. Predeceased daughter of the interstate having lineal descendants predeceased daughter's share shall be divided among her children equally. Child of diseased child has died before the interstate the share of the child of the diseased child shall be computed in similar manner as computed in the case of the predeceased son daughter. Remote lineal descendant has died before the interstate the share of the remote lineal descendant shall be computed in similar manner as computed in the case of the predeceased son daughter. Interstate survived by widow or widower but no lineal descendant or their respective widow or widower widow or widower shall receive half share and the residue shall be given to relatives as mentioned in part 1 of schedule 2 of ISA given below. Survived by only one widow or widower of the lineal descendant widow or widower of the lineal descendant shall receive one three rd share and the residue shall be given to relatives as mentioned in part 1 of schedule 2 of ISA given below. Survived by more than one widow or widower of the lineal descendant widows or widowers of the lineal descendant shall receive two three rd share divided equally among them, and the residue shall be given to relatives as mentioned part 1 in Schedule 2 of ISA, given below. No relative entitled to residue whole shall be distributed in proportion to the share specified among the persons entitled to receive shares under this section. Interstate survived neither by the widow or widower nor lineal descendant or their respective widow or widower relatives as mentioned in part 2 of Schedule 2 of ISA, given below in the order given, where first in the order shall be preferred to the second, second to third and so on. Relatives in one order shall be entitled to equal shares. Not survived by any relative as defined relative who are in the nearest degree of kindred to him shall be entitled to equal share. Relative as mentioned in Schedule 2 of ISA. Part 1. A. Father and Mother. B. Brothers and Sisters other than half-brothers and sisters, and lineal descendants of such of them as shall have predeceased the interstate. C. Paternal and maternal grandparents. D. Children of paternal and maternal grandparents, and the lineal descendants of such of them as have predeceased the interstate. E. Paternal and maternal grandparents' parents. F. Paternal and maternal grandparents, parents, children, and the lineal descendants of such of them as have predeceased the interstate. Part 2 A. Father and mother. B. Brothers and sisters, other than half brothers and sisters, and lineal descendants of such of them as shall have predeceased the interstate. C. Paternal and maternal grandparents. D. Children of paternal and maternal grandparents 
and the lineal descendants of such of them as have predeceased the interstate. E. Paternal and maternal grandparents' parents. F. Paternal and maternal grandparents' parents' children and the lineal descendants of such of them as have predeceased the interstate. G. Half brothers and sisters and the lineal descendants of such of them as have predeceased the interstate. H. Widows of brothers or half brothers and widowers of sisters or half sisters. I. Paternal or maternal grandparents' children's widows or widowers. J. Widows or widowers of diseased lineal descendants of the interstate who have not married again before the death of the interstate. F. Concussion. The other provisions of I.C. pertaining to testamentary succession i.e. Succession by way of will shall be covered under the next article in detail and accordingly is not covered in here. As seen every community has different order of hierarchy to whom the properties shall succeed in case of interstate succession and hence it becomes very important to determine the community to which the person belongs and know the applicable laws before commencing his her estate planning. Disclaimer, the views opinions expressed in the article are purely of the contributor. The readers are requested to take proper professional guidance before abiding the views expressed in the update. Association disclaims any liability in connection with the use of the information mentioned in